I don't think any university is prepared to deal with the NIL landscape. The U of I is keeping Terrence Shannon Jr. off the basketball court, but it can't do much to affect his NIL deals. Good evening, I'm Karina Rubio, in for Brandon. And I'm Jennifer Roscoe. The face of the Illini is charged with a rape stemming from an accusation in Kansas in September. He won't be playing tonight as the Illini prepare to take on the number one team in the country. We have team coverage tonight. Our Capitol Bureau Chief Cole Henke is live in our newsroom. WCI 3's Andy Olson live in West Lafayette and Mackey Arena. First, we go to Cole. How does this suspension affect Shannon's NAL deals? Well, Jennifer, that depends on the contracts that Shannon signed. Unless the contracts specifically have a clause in there that say that it could be void or suspended if Shannon is disciplined and taken off the team or suspended from the team, then they're likely still active. The university, though, could have an indirect impact on those deals. By suspending Terrence Shannon Jr., the university could have triggered any disciplinary actions that may be in the NIL contracts he signed. U of I professor of labor and employment relations, Michael Leroy, would not comment directly on Shannon's case, but he says the NIL era in college athletics is so young that these situations are in a gray area. So the university it doesn't control that and can't control it, but it is somehow in that picture for, uh, as, as it unfolds. After the suspension was announced, Illinois Athletic Director Josh Whitman faced a lot of questions about why the university decided to wait to suspend Shannon, especially since he was continually promoted as the face of the program. He said the university did not have, quote, actionable information until after the charges were filed. It took more than two months for the district attorney in Kansas to file those charges. Champaign County State's attorney, Julia Reitz, says that isn't out of the ordinary, though. I know that it feels for Illini fans like the timing of this is questionable or suspect, but it is not unusual for a case to take months to investigate. The need for, quote, actionable information is laid out in a university policy that was put in place when Whitman took over as athletic director. But Leroy thinks it may be time to take another look at it and many other longtime policies because of NIL. I think the financial elements of it and the outside influences uh, are, are so uh, prominent and powerful that schools all over the country um, are trying to catch up to developments. Um, and so I, I, I don't think any university is fully prepared. Now, one interesting part of the Illinois NIL laws that is spelled out specifically is that the university did not have to worry about any sort of legal action coming from Terrence Shannon Jr. himself. In Illinois law, it states that no student athlete can sue a university over any sort of NIL issues. Jennifer. All right, Cole, thank you so much.